what's good? It's me, J. King, a.k.a. Coach OG. Shout out to all my OGs, OHG, O-Head Gang. Shout out to the IQ Ballers and the Clamp Camp. Now, I said it's a big man type of week, and that's what we're doing so far. We still got another big man. I got one more after this, at least one more after this. I might have another one. I'm working on another one right now. This is currently the big man I am currently playing on, actually. I am loving it. I'm playing off the dribble. I'm ISOing all types of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Now, I, as you can see, I got it at power forward, but you can make it at center. Center. Just do the thing. Everything else the exact same. It literally does not matter. So whatever position preference that you have, you can make it a power forward center and get the same exact thing. If I could do it over, I would have did it at center. You know what I'm saying? Personally, uh, I just accidentally do it. I wanted to see if the attributes would be different, and it didn't. And I forgot to change it back. So, but doesn't matter either way. We good. So we're going power forward center, six eleven on the height. Why not seven foot? It was a sake of attributes, see what I'm saying? That's why we went 6'11", but we all good, trust me. I'm killing the paint. Then we're gonna go 247 on the weight, and then we're gonna go 4'7 on the wingspan. Now, off the break, we're gonna go 83 in the close shot. 83 close shot, you see we get that gold hook specialist. That we were go that's what we were going for while we got it at 83. And then we're gonna skip the driver layup. We're gonna go 65 on the driving dunk for the sake of animations. You know and I'm saying be able to get those driving dunks when we got those open, uh, you know what I'm saying, blow bys, open cuts, or even fast breaks. Uh, Cause we're a little faster, you know what I'm saying, for a 611 big man. So we, we can actually get out on those breaks. I got a couple fast breaks uh, yesterday. All right, then uh, you're going to skip standard dunk. That'll automatically populate. We're going to go 79 on the post control. At 79 post control, we get uh, that back down punisher. That's why we went. That's that's the whole point for the 79. And you see what else we get there. But 79 is exactly for that back down punisher on goal. Then we're going to go 88 in the midi. You know, 88 midi, we get that. You know what I'm saying? Um, exactly at 88, you get, I believe, a space creator. No, it's not space creator. Which one of these is what you get on... Uh, Yeah, Space Creator. I was right the first time. Yeah, Space Creator on gold. You know what I'm saying? So we want to get Space Creator gold. Now, obviously, you see what else we get. But 88 was the threshold for Space Creator gold. So that's why we went there. Then we go 78 to 3 ball. Personally, I think you can go as low as 76. I just felt like what else I'm going to put it on. You know what I'm saying? It was like I could put some other stuff up. You know what I'm saying? But nothing went to where, you know, to the point where I really wanted it. So I just went to 78. I shoot pretty consistent with a 76 and a 75. So uh, right now, that's the lowest I go. Uh, I haven't tried anything lower yet. But you know what I'm saying? It's, it's on the way, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try. I'm going back to my 2K22 days when I'm shooting with 50 somethings and 60 somethings. So we're going to see what it do. Uh, but like I said, 78 to 3 ball. Then we're going to go uh, 81 in the free throw. You can go 80, but, you know, as you can see, I had nowhere else to put the point. So why not just go 81? Forget it. Uh, you see we get that silver um, silver free points. Plus, it's, it's a lot harder to shoot free throws this year. They say shoot around 80 uh, to shoot consistent. You know what I'm saying? 80, 80 plus. Uh, then we're going to go 90 in the pass accuracy. Uh, we're going to 90 in the pass accuracy so we can get post playmaker on Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying? Post playmaker Hall of Fame. And, you know what I'm saying, along with that, we got break starter on gold. You know what I'm saying? Like, we 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 definitely going to be throwing a lot of dimes, man. I was I was diming up like yesterday, man. I was diming up. I was playing ISO on a 6'11 big, bro. Like, it was crazy. Um, then we're going to go 65 on the ball handle. No, 65 ball handle so we can get big driver on gold. You know what I'm saying? Uh... As you can see right there, get big driver on gold. And just to be able, like I said, be able to ISO handle that ball. And to be honest with you, I think you could do it at like a, I think a 40. You could still actually do some some of the moves. All you got to do is uh, choose at that normal animations. Like, and by normal, I mean the, act, the one that actually says normal. Like the dribble animations, pick all of them normal. <laughs> like, forget the Joel Embiid and all that. Nah, they, they slow and they trash. Just pick normal. Man, I was... Pfft, I was I was doing them up, man. Shooting leaners off the off the dribble ISO, bro. It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Then we go 55 on the speed with ball. Once again, we get doing that to get the big driver on goal. Then we're gonna drop down. We go 82 in the interior defense so we can get that silver post lockdown. Uh, that'll automatically. We ain't worried about post control and and the steal. You know what I'm saying? The steal automatically go up, so we ain't worried about that. Um, so we're gonna skip that now. It's funny. You ain't got too much perimeter defense, right? Now, the only, the only way this really hurts you at your position is when you're guarding 
and you're in a park. If you're in a park, it, it might it might hurt you because you know people might mess around and you know play three guards. But you know at the same time, on the other end, you have an advantage. Where they have an advantage, you have an advantage. You know what I'm saying? So they gotta they got think about it like this. They gotta guard you too. You know what I'm saying? So just be efficient. You know what I'm saying? They're going to try to drive. You're going to chase that thing down and knock it off the glass. They're going to try to, you know what I'm saying, you know, get you off the three. Just stay stay back far enough. It just, if you can play smart defense, you, you'll actually be okay. You know what I'm saying, to be honest with you. So I, I'm starting to lose the importance of perimeter defense unless you're actually a guard. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's go down to the block. We go 87 in the block. You know what I'm saying? Along with that, we get silver uh, anchor. You know what I'm saying? We got... um chase down on silver i'll show you what else we need to get that and pogo on silver as well um so then we're gonna go 92 on the offensive rebounder people ask me this all the time and i said this in the last video why do i go a higher offensive rebound than i go defensive rebound i go higher offensive rebound because it is it can be very vital if you can get second chance points if you can get an offensive board and get a second chance points, and I'm starting to figure out, I'm starting to learn that more people are figuring this out. I've been doing this for a while, but people are starting to figure this out. If you get an offensive rebounds, you get more second chance points. That means more shot opportunities, more shots, more points. You know what I'm saying? And defensive rebounds are really more about position. You know what I'm saying? So if you can do if you do well with gaining position and boxing out, playing disciplined big man basketball. You're good at 85. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I got 92 offensive rebound, not 85 defense rebound, just so you know. All right. Then we go 70 on the speed. That's unheard of for damn near a six footer, man. That, I mean, seven footer. Almost a seven footer. 6'11, 70 speed, you know what I'm saying? Without without the sacrifice of too much weight, I mean, uh, too much weight and, and, and too much uh, strength, man, we still strong. You know what I'm saying? 70 strength, 70 speed, you know what I'm saying? So we get up and down that court, we chase the stuff down, we ready, you know what I'm saying? That's the up threshold for, for the chase down as well. Then we go 80, I mean 55, excuse me, 55 on acceleration. That's why you're not going to touch it, it's going to automatically populate. Uh, then we go 92 on the strength. Like I said, we ain't slacking on the strength. So we got speed and we got strength. What they gonna tell me? What they gonna tell me? You can't tell me nothing, man. I take if you too small, I'm taking you in a post. If you too big, I'm blowing past you. Like it don't matter, bro. It don't matter. I'm taking you off the dribble if you if you a big inside big. If you are outside big and you ain't got the strength, I'm backing you down. This is probably the most well-rounded big. I have ever played with, you know what I'm saying, on 2K. And then that 92, of course, gets you that bulldozer on gold. Then we'll go 74 on the vert. Now, why not 75? Because I couldn't get the 75, man. 2K always gets you real close and don't let you get that one that you need, bro. They, this year, they've been doing that a lot. And I ain't mad at it, you know what I'm saying? It keeps us honest, you know what I'm saying? This is probably one of the most balanced builders that we have had in a long time, if not ever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not mad at it, but at 74, I was able to get that chase down uh, on silver. So we ain't mad at a 74. I ain't getting too much at 75 anyway. You know what I'm saying? I just got to be able to get them boards, man. Just got to be able to get them boards. And then we got 97 on the stamina. Now you see the shades of, and they all right. You know what I'm saying? They all right. I like more of the last two. I don't know about, a lot about Jerry Lucas, to be honest with you. So I ain't going to talk smack. I ain't going to say nothing. But I could take Al Horford. You know what I'm saying? Al Horford, been, you know what I'm saying, doing doing his thing. And uh, I like Evan Mobley. You know what I'm saying? I think he's a good promising player for the future. You know what I'm saying? But the name, in all honesty to me, is Fire. Diamond three-level threat, man. I like all those diamond name builds, man. I, I love those, man, personally. But, man, y'all know what it is, man. Shout out to all my OGs, OHG, O-Head Gang. Shout out to the IQ Ballers and the Clamp Camp. And y'all know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please hit that notification bell as well. And y'all know the motto. Don't be toxic. And let's ball. Never mind who you thought I was.